No matter what you say, I will never give Julian partial custody. That is adding little Ethan's father to his life. I wish that were possible, Ethan, I do. I would give anything for my son to have a real relationship with his father for us all to be a family. With Julian? You, you, you would never understand. You're right, I would never understand, and I don't understand. If you want little Ethan to have a real family, Teresa, then give him partial custody. No, Ethan, no. He's unpredictable, okay? You know what Julian is like. But let's just say that my son amuses him for a while. And then what? What if he gets bored? He'll drop him, Ethan. He will drop him in a second and he will hurt him. Or what, what, what if he turns into the old Julian it's again? It's not gonna happen. You don't know that. Okay, he's been a selfish bastard all of his life. A few years of atonement don't make up for all those decades of self-gratification. He's gonna backslide, Ethan. I know he will, and he will break my son's heart. But you won't do that. Right? Because you promised me that you will always be in my son's life. Of course. I promise that, and I will always be in his life. I just don't understand why you're so worried about Julian. It's the other men in your life, Teresa, that you need to be a little worried about. What? Come on, Teresa, you know what happens to kids that have single parents. Mommy's boyfriends, they drift in and out, and then the child has no real sense of belonging to anyone. Mm. You're talking about Jared. Right? Well, that's a stretch, I think, right? That Jared would end up breaking my son's heart? Your son's heart? How about your heart? I don't think Jared is good for you or little Ethan, and I think you need to get rid of that guy right now.